Greg Fidel, Detroit artist featured in Detroit Affinities. In my studio, it's in Midtown on Cass and Peterborough in the old Burton Detroit Public School. My background in skateboarding has always had some sort of a aesthetic push towards it, whether it's building a ramp and then translating it in your backyard. It was always this artistic endeavor, no matter what I was doing. I always want to challenge perception to the viewer. So the work at MOCAD is really about perception. My impetus for this work was my art history book from college. I hated it. It was the bane of my existence because it was 101 and 102, and all you do, you're forced to learn names, dates, the base facts. I was trying to look at my book and I'm like, how can I make this fun? And I just, I don't know why I even did it. I just started taking chemicals and I started altering the images. And I did the first one or two and I was like, this is a book I'd read. You know what I mean? Because the words don't even go with the images, so the words no longer matter. It's just the layout and it's aesthetic of the layout. And then I'm creating and sort of owning each image that's being presented to me, rather than being owned by that image. I found that starting with an image and altering it with the chemicals gave you a different perspective right from the beginning. Now, I don't necessarily look at it as merely a subtractive process, because in a lot of ways, the ink stays on the surface. It's just now altered, it's moved around. So I'm sort of playing with the idea of the past, much like a coder or a hacker would look at coding of the past. They would take it, alter it for their own uses, and then come up with something new. That's looking at art history as a platform rather than this concrete thing that can't be changed. I see it as this fluidness that changes with opinion, changes with cultures, and that's a very freeing experience for me.